Hi Math One. Welcome to the video for section 4.5. The learning target today is I can use inverse operations to solve linear equations with one variable. Okay. The difference today is the equations are going to have variables on both sides. Okay. That's the difference today. Sometimes equations will have variables which means the x's or the letters on both sides of the equal sign. Okay? For example, maybe we have 2x plus 7 equals 3x minus 4. So I notice in this equation that the variables are on both the left side and the right side. Okay? In this case, we need to rearrange the equation. We're going to move all the variables to one side. Okay? In all the examples that I do, I'm going to show you, I'm going to move, I'm going to move the x's to the left side. Okay? So this is a technique that some people use. They always put all the x's on the left. That's how they're used to seeing it. And that would be a, a good technique. Okay? Let's take a look at example number one here. 3x minus 10 is equal to 5x plus 4. Okay, so if you like to draw the wall, it's going to be down the equal sign like it always was. Okay, but there's variables on both sides. So I am going to rearrange. I'm going to eliminate the x's on the right. Since this is positive 5x, I'm going to subtract 5x to the right, and I'm going to subtract it from the left side. The reason that I'm doing that is it eliminates all of the variables on the right side, and all we have left over here is a 4. Okay. 3x minus 5x, that makes negative 2x, uh, and then we've got minus 10. Okay. So we're going to bring down the rest of the terms. The x's are no longer on the right, they're all on the left. Okay, so the first step in solving an equation like this would be to get the variables, okay, get those x's together, together on, uh, on one side. Oops, on one side. Okay, I'm going to say the left side. I'm going to move all my variables to the left side. And the way that we did that is we remove, remove the variables from the right side. Okay. Now it's just like a problem from before. Okay. This is a multi-step equation and all the variables are on the left. Okay. So now step two is going to be to solve like usual. Solve like usual, doing the multi-step uh, equations. The first thing I'll do to both sides is add 10 to both sides. What you do to the left side, you do to the right side. That's exactly what we did here, but with x's. Okay, so that's the new step today. Uh, the 10s are going to cancel. We have negative 2x. We have our equal sign. And over on the right, we have 14. One step left, when x is being multiplied by a number, we will divide, which is the inverse. And x is equal to negative 7. So the new step today is to get all your variables on one side so it can turn into a multi-step equation like, like in the past. Let's do another one. For this equation here, I'm noticing that there's x's on both sides. Okay. First thing I'll do is build my wall so I can clearly see the left side and the right side. Okay. Remember, what you do to the left side, you must do to the right side. Okay. So the first thing I'm going to do is get the x's, which are the variables, okay, on the left side. Get the variables on the left side. So these x's that are on the right, I need to eliminate them. 
I need to subtract two x's from the right. Okay, that makes them cancel out. But what I do to the right, I must also do to the left. 4x minus 2x, those are like terms. That makes 2x. I need to write down the rest of the terms. We still have minus 9 on the left. We still have positive 11 on the right. Now we just have a multi-step equation. All the variables are on the left. Okay. So now step 2 is just going to be to solve. Solve using your many steps. The first thing to do would be to add 9 to both sides. That leaves us with 2x equals to 20. And the final step, when you see multiply, the inverse would be to divide both sides by 2. And x is equal to 10. Okay. I can check. I believe that this is the correct answer. Okay, I think x should equal the number 10. What you can do is go back up to the top of the problem. Okay, I believe if this x number right here was a 10, that the left side would indeed equal the right side. Okay, and I can check. Here's me checking to see if that is the right solution. 4 times 10 is 40. 40 minus 9, that's going to make the left side be 31. Okay, does that indeed equal the right side? Let's see, 2 times 10 is 20. 20 plus 11, yes, look at that. It makes 31 on the left and equal to 31 on the right. 10 is indeed the correct solution. Um, here's another one. We've got a, a couple different techniques here. When we see parentheses, okay, that means multiply. So we've got one additional step here. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is distribute. I'm going to distribute, distribute that 4 into the parentheses. And the reason I do that uh, to remove, to remove, okay, the parentheses. If I distribute, I, I will no longer have parentheses, and I'll have 4x minus 6 times 4 is 24. Now this equation looks just like the ones on the other page. Okay, I notice that there's variables on both sides. Okay. We have to eliminate that. We have to eliminate, eliminate the variables. Okay, the x is uh, on the right. Eliminate those variables. How am I going to eliminate an 8x? I will subtract 8x. Okay. That is indeed the right side. If I subtract 8x's from the right, I need to subtract 8x's from the left. Notice where I'm writing these. I'm putting x's under x's. On this left-hand side, it makes sense to line up the like terms. X's go with X's. So that would be the, the right place, the proper place to put the X terms. Okay. Now, what do we have after we do that? We still have an equal sign, but the 8X's are gone. And all we have left is a 16 on the right side. Over here, 4 minus 8. Be careful. Negative 4X. And we still have minus 24. Okay. Now I've eliminated the variable on the right. I only have x on the left. Okay. So the third step would be to solve. We're going to have to do multi-steps here. Okay. It seems like the last step they did was subtract 24. I need to undo that. The inverse of subtract is to add 24 to both sides. That eliminates the number on the right. Now the left side only has x's, and the right side only has numbers. This is going to be a 40. Okay. I can tell that we're getting smaller, so the solving is working. We're getting very close to solving for x. If I divide both sides by negative 4, okay. negative 4 cancels with negative 4. And x is equal to negative 10. Okay, remember, you can check this. If 
you plug negative 10 in for the x, the answer on the left side should equal the answer on the right side. Okay, and you can do that with your calculator. If I take uh, 4 times negative 10 minus 6 with parentheses, that makes the left side negative 64. Now on the right side, what if I do 8 times negative 10 plus 16? Well, the right side also equals negative 64, okay? And the two sides are equal, this answer checks. Okay, we got one more. Okay. When you see parentheses like this, the first step would be to distribute. I am going to distribute the 3 to remove the parentheses. I'm going to distribute the 3 just to make several terms. That makes 3x plus 6 equals 9x plus 12. Now I have many terms. Okay, it's getting more simple. Now I notice that there's variables on both sides. Okay, so the new um, learning target for today would be to not have variables on both sides. Okay, let's eliminate, let's eliminate the 9x from the right side. Okay, how do you eliminate a 9x? We subtract 9x. Okay, that is clearly on the right hand side. What you do to the right side, you have to do to the left side. Where do I write 9x? Oh, I'm going to put it here under the other x's. The like terms should get written by each other. Okay. What you do to the right side, you do to the left side. That cancels the x's. That eliminates the x's from the right. All we have left is a number. That's exactly how it should look. 3x minus 9x is negative 6x. We still have that plus 6. Okay, so it eliminates from the right side, and they all get combined to the left side. Now the next step would be to kind of do that with the numbers. Okay, now we're going to solve like usual. We're going to subtract 6 from the left and from the right. Okay, do you see how the numbers get eliminated from the left? Now it seems like all my numbers are on the right. Okay, if your equation is getting smaller and smaller, it's working. The last step, okay, the inverse of multiply, would be to divide by negative 6. Okay? Negatives cancel, 6's cancel. When I divide, that actually makes a 1. You can put a 1 or you don't have to. And a positive divided by negative is negative 1. You can write your answer like that, or you can write your answer as x equals negative 1. Either one is the same. Okay, either way, they are equivalent. Great job, Math 1.